What's up, my crews? Today, we're going to talk about my new Crossman 760 Pump Master. So this is the Crossman 760 Pump Master. We got it at Walmart in, in Topeka, and the rounds that it takes is copperhead BBs, and it can also hold pellets. So this is the Crossman 760 Pump Master itself. First of all, the load the first of all where you can load this. There's two ways. BBs and pellets like I showed you earlier. You put the BBs in here, you just, you just, with copperhead BBs you need to split a hole in the top because it's just closed up. Then you just pour them in there and I already have some in for when we're going to shoot them. Now for pellets, the gun comes with a special pellet loader which looks like this. Now, you might be asking, how do you load the pellets? Basically, how to load the pellets into the loader, you just pick up a pellet, make sure that it's facing the right way, and you want to tilt it so it's like this, and there's a little groove at the front, and all you do is you just put a pellet in and it won't come out. And that's how you load the pellets. And this is what it looks like when it is full of pellets. And basically how the pellets go in this is, first of all, make sure it's not on safety or else it won't load. You got and the safety is right in front of the trigger, right here. And if you push on the right left side, it goes on the safe. If you push on the right side, it goes in the fire. And to load the pellets, you pull back, pick up your loader, make sure it's facing the right way, and you just push it in. And you push forward. And that's it. Okay, so this is how you pump it up. You just pull down on where you set your left hand, and you just push back, and it'll pump it so for more power. And the maximum amount of pumps is 10. I just like to use two, because that gives you enough power for a long distance shot. And we have some cans in there that we're about to shoot. Pretty good shot, right? Okay guys, that's it for the Crossman. I appreciate you guys for watching. See you guys next time.